Hi, in this video, we'll be looking at uh, how we can set up Open5.js on a server that is like running already. So, I am using uh, this uh, Ubuntu 24.04 here in this case, it is already set up on a uh, hypervisor platform that is Proxbox. So we'll just start. So we first update the Ubuntu repositories with Suno app update. Yeah, we have got some packages to upgrade, but we'll do that later on. Now we'll like install G GNUPG. We already have it here. So that's good. Now we'll install curl because I guess it is not there. Yes, curl was not there, so curl is getting installed. Give me a moment. Yeah, curl is installed. That looks good. So now I got this link, I got this uh, like command from the official MongoDB website. Now we'll be installing MongoDB. I'll share the links also. So just follow along right now because MongoDB provided on the quick start guide didn't work. Both the commands I got from the uh, MongoDB official uh, like documents and I'll be linking those down. Here we are like creating a APT list for that and now we'll update the repositories again uh, the cache i mean and you can see we have uh, mongodb and now we can install mongodb with sudo apt install mongo dash mongod dash org i'm so sorry okay actually this is a remote server so there is some latency so it might lag a bit give me a second it is Chosen, yes, mongodb dash org. Let it get installed. Waiting for it. I'm not pausing this uh, video just because, like, if I face any issues in runtime, we can solve them together. So that's the reason I'm not like pausing it or something. So just bear with me, yes. It is now installed now. We'll start MongoDB by sudo systemctl enable dash dash now MongoD M O N G O D. Uh, we use dash dash now to like start it right now. Now we'll check the status if it is running or not. And the most important thing is that uh, you need to ensure that MongoDB is running and is stable. It is not restarting or like it is not failing or something like that. Because if MongoDB is not like running properly other open 5 services they tend to crash and like last time I was setting it up uh, the web UI was not working just because mongodb was not running and it like it was failing so yes everything's everything looks fine now uh, we'll install the open 5 We'll first start with the repositories and you might wonder from where I'm getting these commands I'm following the quick start guide okay just just to make sure mongodb is actually running fine because like everything is dependent on mongodb so this is the main thing uh, okay everything looks good I was just checking if like mongodb has opened up any ports or not it should not actually correct uh, yeah so we'll now add a repository with a add apt repository and we'll do a sudo apt update again give me a minute yes as i said that this is a remote host and there's some latency so just bear with me and now we'll install sudo uh, and now I'll install the open5js with sudo apt install open5js with a simple command. 
and don't worry i'll be linking all these uh, sources and the commands in the description or else i'll make some uh, github repo and that shall help you out you can just copy paste those commands or i'll try to make a bash script that will like just run that bash script and you have open files up and running and I'll, I'll just try those things now okay open file is installed you can see like the services like upfd udrd everything like it is there now i'll make a directory called keyrings and apt this is like mentioned to like install the web ui so sudo mkdr-p etc apt keyrings so this will make a directory called keyrings and then i have copied this command from the open files guide this will basically pull the repositories for a node we are now setting up node for the web ui we'll add an environment variable called uh, node major 20 this is the node version and now we'll add a apt list so that like the package manager knows like how to install the node and now we'll proceed with installing uh, i'm so sorry okay we'll do sudo apt update first give me a second yes sudo okay as i said there's a latency here sudo apt update let it run we have uh, node source dot com node underscore 20 here so that's great we can now install uh, node js with sudo apt install uh, node js great dash y will like ensure it installs we need not press the y key again I'll give it a minute okay it is installed that is great now uh, we'll check for the open 5 services with uh, sudo service status okay uh, so, so, so sorry so open 5 dash dash star means everything okay what did i mean okay. service spelling is wrong s-e-r-v-i-c-e Okay. Sudo S E R V I. Okay, okay, okay. Found it. Okay, it stuck up again. Wait a second. Yeah, great. So we have like AUS of running, PCF D1 is running. That's good. All these are the 5G core, 5G network core functions what we call as nfs and everything looks okay why are there warnings here for scpp we'll have to like look at this again but like everything looks good like we have our 5g up and running on a virtual machine this is a achievement Again, we have some warnings here and there, but I don't think so. They are like, so they should get settled down from what I uh, understand. Okay, again, it has stuck up. MongoDB is running. So MongoDB is the like main culprit why Open 5G has, has been crashing. It is not. I don't have that on video but everything is because of uh, mongodb now this command i got it from the quick start guide of open 5gs this will basically install the uh, web ui for managing the customers and all like adding mcs adding some cards and all so like if you are using ue ransom or like doing a proper attaching a proper radio setup then you can add customers through the web ui and the username password is admin 1423 quite strange it should be 1234 but yeah for some security reasons it is 1423 so we'll now check the ports these 777999 this is the web ui port but you can see it is on 127.0.0.1 
but as i said again this is a virtual machine running on cloud so i can't do 127.0.0.1 it should be running on like the wan interface or something something so we'll have to figure out how we can uh, put this service on all interfaces we'll just check the status of the web ui okay it is running ready on local host 9999 but it is on local host you won't be able to access this from like other machine or something you'll need a gui access for this machine in my case at least if you have like a gui you can at this moment you can do local host pull in 9999 but like i don't have so we'll just change the uh, like we'll add some environment variables for the web ui so it is at sudo oh, sorry it is at lib system md system and open file js that's web service uh, yeah web ui service we'll just add two environment variables here so it is like environment equal to or else uh, okay i'll just copy the one here i don't want to make spelling mistakes okay why is it behaving like this okay great is equal to i guess host name it is give me a minute it is host name yes it is host name host name correct is like all interfaces and i guess we'll keep it on uh, 9999 only i don't think so we need to change the port so yes control o enter control x we exit from nano you can use vim if you want i'm comfortable with nano so we'll have to reload the system ctl d1 right first because we have made changes in the configuration files go so system ctl uh, d1 reload d1 dash reload there is a latency little bit i'll have to bear with it okay where did i mess up it should be d a e m o n okay hold on a second oh 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 okay okay there was a like i pressed backspace and then it like overshooted i'll just copy paste okay, sorry okay wait a minute D A E M O N. Great. Now we'll check service. It is running on nine 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 only. Okay, we'll have to restart the web UI also. Wait a minute. We uh, yeah, it is correct. Okay, it is saved. For a moment, I thought it is not saved. So, but yes, we'll have to restart the web UI service. Okay, this has just stuck up. Okay, we'll just restart this web UI, and it should be running on zero dot zero dot zero dot zero. So all interfaces. Okay, now now you can see it is running on all interfaces on port nine 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 nine. So I'll just show you by doing curl on the local host. if it is actually working and yes we do have some uh, html code which is being shown up here so i think the ui is working at least on the local local host now i'll have to like punch some holes through the firewall or I'll, i'll set up a tunnel and i'll get back give me a second i'm just setting up a tunnel uh give me a second Okay, the tunnel is set up at uh, this like, and yes, this OG OG tunnel that is like the 5G service. I'm so sorry, the WT dash zero uh, WT zero is the tunnel. The OG T OG T one that is for like the open 5G for the use to access the internet. Now you can see the web UI on the IP address, the tunnel IP address. and you might be wondering from where did i get the commands i got those from here at least from mongo db because like i have a like a poor experience from the quick start guide 
only for node.js and the web ui i am using the uh, quick start guide so now following the default credentials admin and 1423 we have the page here okay is uh, that's all in the next video after setting up ua ransom i'll be demonstrating how you can add sub subscribers because like the mc and everything should be matching so the config for ua ransom and the subscriber should match and i'll attach these uh, quick start guides in the description so you can follow along thank you